Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I called out Coach Rob because I'm a little worried that a lot of you learn the wrong way of serving. I mean, you hold it like this, like a frying pan, and you do kind of this deal. I've been seeing too much of that lately with kind of all age groups. So I figured this would be a good time to do a video about how to kind of get you over and get you doing it the right way. All right, stay tuned. All right, so Coach Rob is out here with me. And Coach Rob, so many people serve this, like this. I mean, I'm guilty of it myself. I mean, from the age of 6 to 12, 13, I did it the same way. I mean, I, I you know, frying panned it uh, because obviously I didn't get any instruction. And when I got to age 13 and actually had somebody teaching me, they basically said, don't do this and do this. Right. And they're like, they basically said, go backhand grip. And I'm like, how the heck do you serve? You, like, did, did you ask him which side of the bracket you were going to hit the ball on? <laughs> yeah, I could do this. <laughs> and okay. then, <laughs> right. So let's start from the ground up. So before we get to the grip, how, would, how did you learn to stand? Well, I watched McEnroe, so somehow I got so you were from, right -handed from here Mac. to here. So, so I basically, and then I went like that. Right, right? okay. Yeah. So you've uh, obviously progressed over time. So now what we try to do is kind of be sort of like in an upside down seven. So if you look at it, it's going to start at your back toe, up to your heel, up to the other heel, and then you're going towards like the net post or this where the singles line meets the net. Okay. So if you can get your feet here, and, and like I said, there's lots of ways to get to the trophy position. But to be simple, what I try to do is just start. I call it the prayer position because I'm praying I'm going to make one. Um, it's usually that's a new one. That's okay. like, I, I, <laughs> come on, help me out. I need one to go in, right? So I set my hands here. And then as you're learning, you can rock it back. You can get to here. And now you've got to get a good toss, right? So when you're learning the parts, you got your prayer position. You can rock it back, lift it up straight. Practice your toss. So many people toss it too low. Most of the time, they're afraid to miss. So if they feel like they throw it too high, there could be fear of whiffing. Mm -hmm. And if you whiff, you look silly, and that's not good. But if you can practice getting your toss up high, that's going to be huge because it's going to allow you to reach up to hit the ball and make your contact. Right? Usually, you want your contact point a little bit in front of you. Right? Right. So that that's kind of your motion, mm -hmm. at least. And then when you feel you've kind of got the parts put together. Think of it like three steps. One is down, two goes up, three, you hit it, right? So if you have the wrong grip, at least even if I'm in the wrong grip, if I can get to here, I can get to here. Okay, I made it, at least I'm playing tennis, All right? We got the ball in play, that's the key. Right. Um, as you get to the point where you feel like, okay, I'm ready to learn the right grip and I want to invest a little time. Okay, now we're going to go to Continental. You're going to shake hands with it. A lot of times, start by bouncing it. See if you can bounce it and just rub the side of the ball, right? If you can rub the side of the ball, you know how the ball is going to react off your string because when you were in the frying pan grip, you were just hitting it flat. That's frying pan grip right there. Right, so now you move know. Right, that's yep. frying pan grip. You serve. Let me show you. <laughs> Did your arm hurt? <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, it actually went that way. <laughs> it did go which way you hit the ball. The went, side of the ball. It you went hit. that way. <laughs> right, but remember when you hit it, your hand went like this. Yep. That's weird. Why did my hand go do that? <laughs> So, I mean, look, like, this is how I served back in the day. Look, like, I don't even know how the heck I served this way. I mean, I basically 
And it, <laughs> See, it still went that way. <laughs> and you notice it didn't even make the net on no, the fly. No, no, and it went right, which it is... Did, it, that's hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> right, so sit there again, get your stance, get your hands. Everybody does it a little bit different. You know, Fed was down here, some are here, some are here. I like to look over the top of my racket. We grew up with the heavier rackets where when my racket falls, gravity, because of the weight of the racket, used to just bring the racket back to its spot. Right. Nowadays, there's a lot of lighter rackets, so sometimes, let me steal your racket for a sec, Harry. Yeah. Sometimes what? to help with that, I'd put both rackets together so oh. I'd get the feeling of the gravity of the weight bringing the racket back. Right. Right? Okay, so, so it's, I, I, I uh, disturbed Coach Rob. So we went from here, right, yep. serving like this. So Coach... Coach Rob wants to take take it easy on you guys and basically kind of he just wants people to play tennis. So we if want you, you have, to enjoy the game and not quit because you can't serve. Right. So if you have to serve like this, by all means, uh, do it. And he he says if you really do want to invest the time in changing it, then slowly move it over right work um, work its way over to continental right yep um and, and just practice some and because you eventually want to be here eventually and and he was saying that you know in, if you do this right that's the wrong side of a of a of a flat serve what you want to do is eventually be flat like this though but in that's order fine. to get there you want to feel this feel the ball rubbing across your strings right because most of the time when you're learning when you're tossing the ball up and you're going to hit it with this grip you're going to if you don't learn the pronation you're going to end up almost hammering the side of the ball mm -hmm. or rubbing the side of the ball and it's gonna make a hard left turn right which is to be which expected when you're learning <laughs> that's fine so if you can do it in you know slow you're here you're here reach up Boom, put a little spin on it, right? Make sure you're pronating. Kind of think about pushing your thumb out, right? So you're going to be here. Let the racket fall. Got it. So right? that's pretty extreme. I mean, it's just like me going backwards and going back to this grip, right? It, it'd be like me going backwards doing this. Right. right? Or now. are you trying to serve left-handed being right-handed? Right. Exactly. So it, it's... it's uh, it's a lot more, man, you got to actually change, don't you? It's the, hard for the, me there's to... An <laughs> there's an, an investment of time, energy, resources, and patience that, you know, Cause need I'll, to happen. I'll bet that everybody out there who serves this way kind of stands, like, open. Right. Right? And they do kind of this, and I still went to the right. Correct. <laughs> a lot of people, when they're on the right side of the court, don't want to be sideways. They want to feel like they're looking where they're going, which then usually pushes them this way because if they follow through too much, they're going to go hit it over there by the water jug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So take the same stance, more or less, from the do side because I get a lot of people go, I like serving on the ad side because I look like I know where I'm going. Right. I'm like, it's right there right. and I get it. But take the same stance, the same swing. You're swinging from right to left. When you're on this side, you don't need to change right. and open up because you still swing right to left. There you're hitting it over there on the side fence. Right. So try to keep your stance the same and, and remember that you're going to trust that your swing going from right to left. If you have any spin, it's going to um, you know curve to your left. Once you get comfortable with this, you will want to serve more on this side, actually, because everything will kind of want to like be like that versus Your natural swing yeah versus here uh, being natural this will be unnatural uh, the better you get yeah that's why people miss double faults on this side and get more aces on this side so and it depends you know as you go how you can control the box maybe you have a good slice wide serve that runs away runs the player off the court right you know so it's you know 
it's all trial and error and practice and so your first serves like with the new grip will probably like be like that like, correct like what he says it'll be coming sideways right it'll probably be almost like you're going up and the edge here is going to go if is going to go hit the ball if right. you forget if you don't learn this right right now to practice this you can do what we're doing take a football Right? right, throwing a spiral with a football is the same motion. Right, right. You want to exactly. develop the shoulder strength. There you go. Right, there you go. So if you, you know, if you don't have the shoulder strength, you didn't grow up throwing a lot of balls. It's going to be a little bit tough on the arm until you build those muscles up. Do a couple like 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 just easy, just easy pronation through okay right. so we're here drop our hands reach up boom right right now if i don't pronate right same motion here 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 i get a hard left turn right. at the bottom right so it's it's getting the feel of it and to start if putting the whole motion together is too complicated and we're, we're getting frustrated just start with your racket up mm -hmm. Right, just start here, toss it up, boom, give it a shot. Right, you have less parts, you have less things to go wrong. Boom. Right, right. I know that for us it's probably looking a little easy, but I mean, we've been at it for a while, and I feel like if you could just kind of control yourself and just, whoops, get to there, right? Just Right, just throw and throw the football. Throw the football, right? The hand is uh and then uh like that. Like that. Cause you wanna eventually be kinda here if you wanna hit a flat serve. Right? Yeah, for the most part, you're gonna be here. You're gonna come up. If you wanna get it, hit it harder and flatter, you're gonna pronate more and get more string behind the ball. If you're hitting more slice, you're gonna aim more on the outside of the edge, get more slice so it curves. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna hit more of a kick serve, toss is gonna be behind you, and you're gonna try to rub up the bottom of the ball. Right, 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 right. Kick serve, topspin serve. But, sure, if you want to. You wanna get, you wanna get hit? <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Bounce the ball a couple times. Got your prayer position. You know your feet, good upside down seven. Your hands fall, reach up, off we go. Let's simplify it as much as we can now for All the right. beginning. So for the steps, start here, prayer position, upside down seven. See if you can get your racket you to here. Yep. Concentrate on a good toss. Ooh, don't like that one. Don't swing. Start over. Boom. Here. I like my toss. Off I go. Right? And then you can blend the two together. So three steps. One is down. Two is up. Three, we hit it. Okay. There you go. So, no more of this. More of this. But it's not easy to make the change. Mm -mm. Just takes time and patience. Exactly. But make sure you get your grip into the right spot first and then kind of go from there. Simplify it as much as you can. I mean, it's going to be frustrating in the beginning because your muscle memory is just... You're happy you to know. get the serve in the box. <laughs> there. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. So if you're a beginner, learn the right way. Don't, don't do this, do that, okay? Immediately, just, just learn the right way, okay? One thing, my, once ahead. you got it, you never have to, you're never gonna lose it. Correct. Once you got it. It'll be more natural that way. You just pick the racket up and go. Yep. I used to, here's the thing, I used to get my hand in that position just because, oh, backhand, backhand. Right. Backhand. Right. right. So. Yep. <laughs> well said. I wanna thank my man, Coach Rob for teaching us the way of us holding the racket 
in the right position for a serve. Okay? So I beg you guys, please hold it the right way and you will definitely see and grow your results a lot faster and actually make the game a lot easier for yourself to get the ball rolling. Okay? Because it'll be just the beginning of flat serve, um, curve serves, kick, kick serves. Serve. I mean, anything you want to do, it has to start with the right grip. Okay? Thank you, Coach Rob. Sure. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. <laughs> How the hell does it keep going to the right? Because look at where your strings are pointing when you make contact. <laughs> There's Harry needing a new shoulder. <laughs> Coach Good, check yeah. this out. Swing Vision got new commercial out. Oh. Check out his James Blake right. and yeah. Ronick. Oh my God. He's still playing? I mean, he's still playing. Whoa. Whoa. What? Dude, dude. That's damn fast. I can do it. I can do it, dude. Back in the day, I could, I could do that. I could totally do that, dude. You can do that. You can do that. Let's go, man. We can show them how it's done. Let's go, let's go, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's all go. All right, all right, all right. 85 miles per hour. That can't be right. No, that's no. definitely right. That's definitely right, man. 88 miles per hour. That's not a gigawatt. One more, one more. Watch me, watch me. 78 miles per hour. Hey, man. <laughs> Something wrong with this program. Nah, that's just you, bro. L you try. You try. Right, Let's okay, see what I'll you do. It. I'll do it. You're going to go 69 right here. 127 miles per hour. You can check out your serve speed on Swing Vision 2. Doc, we got an issue.